what's up? My name is Technobo here for Troubleshoot and welcome back to another video. In this quick video, I'll be showing you how you can show your controller as an overlay on stream and recordings, etc. using OBS Studio or Streamlabs OBS. Essentially, you can show whatever buttons you're pressing, analog stick movements, etc. etc. on your screen. You may have seen a couple of Rocket League streamers and people like that using programs like this, and this is exactly what I'll be showing you here. In the description down below, you'll find a link to our website. GamepadViewer.com. Simply press any button on your controller and that pop-up should go away. At the very top, we can choose player one through four and we should see our controller on screen. As far as I understand, it'll try its best to guess what kind of controller we have, but we can click the icon at the very top here next to the player name to choose any one of these controllers. Xbox One, 360, PlayStation 3, 4, GameCube, FindPad Pro, Fight Stick, and NES. These are the currently supported controllers. To the right hand side of that, we can choose a color for the background, but this really isn't important. We're just here to set up and test to see if everything's working properly, which for me, it definitely is. When we're happy with our controller layout, in the very top left, click the hamburger icon, and on the left hand side, we'll be clicking generate URL. You can also click remap buttons to remap buttons on your controller if things aren't going to plan. Anyways, we'll head across to generate URL and we'll see this on our screen. We can choose a player number, choose a skin if you haven't already, or it hasn't got one selected for you. I'll choose Xbox One White. We can enable a strength meter, stick curving, extra settings like scale modifiers. We can enter a number here, one, two, etc. Dead zone value, opacity, delay, which I recommend leaving off for now. Rotation stop, stick offset value, custom CSS, and edit CSS, though we'll be leaving pretty much all of these settings as is. Simply click the link at the very top here to copy it, and we'll head into OBS Studio to add it. Inside of OBS, I'll click the Add button next to my sources on whatever scene you'd like this to show. Then simply choose Browser, and we'll give it a name, say Controller. Then hopefully it's not covering too much of my screen. In here in the URL, simply select everything and paste in the text that we have copied. I'd recommend changing the width and height to be something relative to your screen. If you don't know what size we'll be going with, I'll click OK for now to add it. And you should eventually see a controller on your screen whenever you press a key or move something around. There we go. There's a controller showing. If we right click the browser source and choose properties, we can come back and change the width and height to be something a little bit better. I'll enter same 1280 by 720 for 720p as we'll be scaling this down later. Preferably raise the size here and scale it down inside of OBS. Otherwise you may notice some stretching, pixelation, etc. If it's not big enough, use that settings window over there to raise the size of it. Anyways, we can place it wherever we'd like, say the bottom left corner. At this point, we're practically done. We have a controller on our screen. It shows different values, of course, while we're playing games. You may notice a little bit of a delay, but it shouldn't be too much. That's really about it. Carry on playing whatever game you'd usually play. This time, you now have a controller on your screen. If you have multiple controllers, simply come back to the website, choose Player 2, for example, copy the link, and add another browser source. Place it next to this existing one, or whatever you see fit. Upon moving the analog sticks or pressing buttons, it should update and work exactly as you'd expect. Anyways, that's really about it for this quick video. Thank you all for watching. My name's been Techno Behavior Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.